Hey, it's Garrett Biss. I hope you're having an awesome day today. Think of something real quick that you're grateful for. I'm grateful for this opportunity to share something, share an idea with you that I think will really help make a difference in your life. It will help ease some of the stress, some of the pain, and some of the frustration that we often uh, experience when we come up against obstacles or things in our life. I was thinking today about an event or experience that I had a few years ago when I was flying down to Auburn University for a meeting. I was leaving New Bern and I had to fly through Charlotte and make a connecting flight in Charlotte. But unfortunately, we took off a little late in New Bern. I think there was some weather. And by the time we got to Charlotte, I had missed the connection. Now, normally this would really frustrate me, really upset me, but I was thinking about uh, the reality that sometimes things happen in our life not, to, uh, not as an obstacle or a challenge or, or not because it, it, uh, just to aggravate us because it wasn't working out the way that we'd like. But sometimes things happen in life just to provide new opportunities that we wouldn't have seen or experienced uh, or been aware of had it not been for this temporary obstacle or this challenge. So when I missed that connecting flight to Charlotte or from Charlotte, I ended up having to wait in the airport for about three and a half hours to catch the next flight to my destination. Well, I decided to use this as an opportunity to not just be upset and frustrated as I would have been in the past. Uh, many times I might have just gotten to the airport and been so mad and angry I just would have stormed around the airport and called everybody that I knew for a, have a quick pity party and tell them how terrible my day was going. But I chose the opportunity or this option of deciding that this was a good thing that had just happened that I was supposed to miss that connecting flight and that something great from that, uh, from that experience was about to happen in my life. And with this fascination or with this, uh, by making that assumption, I was now fascinated and really wanted to go and find evidence to support the fact that my misconnection was actually a good thing. So I got my backpack on, I walked off the plane and I went with open eyes looking for all the positive that came from missing that connecting flight and from the three and a half hours that I'd have to spend in the Charlotte airport. Uh, very quickly I realized, I was like, hey, this is the Charlotte airport. It's one of my favorite airports to spend time in and I had only had about 40 minutes scheduled to, to make my next flight. So had I not missed that connection, I would have been running through the airport to get on the next plane. Then I realized I had a really early flight out from New Bern that morning and I didn't really get a chance to eat breakfast or anything. And had I made that connecting flight, once again, I wouldn't have had time to stop and grab anything to eat. So I would have had to run and ju jump on the next plane. And I uh, would have been hungry all the way until I got to Auburn and, and late in the afternoon had a chance to grab something to eat. So I realized, hey, now I've got three and a half hours. I've got plenty of time to stroll around the airport. I can go find a nice place to grab, uh, grab a late breakfast. And, and not only am I not running, but I'm going to have this chance to get something to eat. So things are starting to look a little bit better. Then I realized... Heck, if I'd have caught that flight, I don't know what I was thinking when I scheduled my arrival in Auburn to get there so early. I wouldn't have even been able to check into the hotel for about four or five hours after I showed up. So instead of getting there and doing something productive, I would have been uh, you know, standing by the front desk or in the lobby of the hotel for a couple of hours and wouldn't have been able to take advantage of that time to do something more productive. Well, then I realized by the time I got to Auburn, I was renting a car and I would have to drive into Auburn. Uh, by the time I would have gotten there, it would be... Uh, you know, there'd been some rush hour traffic or some, uh, some, there's something came up and I would have had these obstacles. I think it was road construction. I realized later that day when I got there that there was been road construction I would have faced and that would have slowed me down even more and made me more aggravated. And then as I was walking around the airport, taking advantage of all this time that I now had to spend in the Charlotte airport, I realized, uh, you know, I met some interesting people. I stopped and had some conversations with some interesting people, made a new friend. And all of these things that I realized were opportunities that were only presented because something that I wasn't planning on, something that I initially could have perceived as something bad had happened in my life and it allowed these opportunities to come up. If you can look for these sort of things and keep this in mind when things, when obstacles show up in your life, you can be empowered to find some really wonderful and fascinating things that have actually come into your life only because of those obstacles presenting themselves. So next time you're driving down the road, if you get a flat tire, don't, don't think that this is you know, something that's challenged or something that's against you. Realize that maybe, hey, maybe this is something that worked out for me, for my benefit. If you're running late and you miss a meeting, then uh, you know, think of other things that have presented themselves, other opportunities that have come up. Maybe you run into somebody, maybe you're running late for a meeting and you, uh, but, but because you were running late or because you got out of work late, now you're on an elevator with somebody that you wouldn't have had a chance to meet or maybe you just have a chance encounter with somebody who becomes a new friend. But when something happens in your life that you're not planning, 
I challenge you, don't get upset with it. Don't be frustrated by it. Don't allow it to continue to ruin your day or your week or your month. But instead, look for the opportunity that's come up because of that obstacle or because of that challenge presented itself in your life. So I challenge you to think about that. The next time something supposedly bad happens, I challenge you to go look for, be fascinated, go look for the positive that comes from, uh, from whatever that obstacle or whatever that, whatever that thing was that you weren't planning on. Don't look at it as something bad. I challenge you, look at it as something positive and then go find the evidence to support the fact that it's positive. Hope that, I hope that idea helps you and I hope it eases some pain and frustration in your life at some point. But think, think again, think of something that you're grateful for and go out and make today an awesome day. Thanks for checking out this video.